He was born in 1742 in Fincastle County, Virginia. He fought against the Shawnee and Mingo Indian tribes in Lord Dunmore's War. He fought in the Continental Line in the American Revolution. And then he came to the Cumberland Settlements here to start a new life. Hey, this is Scott Denny with Family Tree Nuts. And today I want to tell you about one of Middle Tennessee's first settlers, the William Bowen family. Because Colonial Virginia had no new land to purchase, Bowen sold the plantation he had inherited from his father and he financed an expedition into a new frontier called the Cumberland Settlements, which were in the region of present-day Nashville, Tennessee. He came along with his wife, Mary Henley, and several of his friends that served in the Continental Army to scout this region for new homesteads. They came down a wilderness trail called the Kentucky Trace with their families to build a new life and it was here where he built his home, and there it is, still standing today. In the 1760s and 1770s, there were numerous long hunters coming down out of Kentucky and also across the Cumberland Plateau from present day East Tennessee to hunt and trap for furs in this new frontier. It was known as the Cumberland Country. In light of the rich soil and good hunting grounds, it wasn't long before they and thousands of others came here to settle permanently, but they were settling on hunting grounds that were claimed by the local Chickamauga Indians, so they were attacked on a regular basis. The Bowens did what everyone else did. When there was an Indian threat, they left their home and they flocked to the protection of the local fort, which was, in those early days, always close by. The Bowen home here was about a mile away from Mansker Station. Hey, if you're enjoying this story about American history, why don't you consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, Family Tree Nuts. All you've got to do is click on this little button, and if you want to be notified every time we post a new video, click on this little bell. When the settlers arrived, the first log cabins were constructed rapidly out of timber that was cut. The Bowen family built a two-story, double log cabin with a traditional dog trot, but after about three years, they began construction on a new brick home, which was considered to be a mansion in those days, especially since most of the people in the community were still living in their frontier log homes and they needed the protection of the Mansker Station close by. In time, the original 640 acres here grew into a 4,000 acre estate. The house is recorded as one of the first brick houses in the Middle Tennessee area, and here it is today. It's open for tours and includes some original property that belonged to the Bowen family. It's really interesting and gives you a deeper understanding of what it was like to live in the western frontier in the late 1700s. It was built in a simple design with the original two rooms upstairs and two rooms downstairs. The Bowens had six children and they lived in separate rooms, one upstairs for the girls, one upstairs for the boys. Today, the Bowen home is completely restored and sits in Moss Wright Park located in Gullisville, Tennessee. Also here in the park is a replica of the original Bansker Station Fort, one of the first Cumberland settlements. It was originally located about a mile from the Bowen home and they, along with many others, found shelter from Indian attacks there. A few years later, treaties were signed and the Indian attacks ended. In the meantime, hundreds of other settlers arrived into the region and new communities sprang up and the area continued to grow in what is known today as Nashville, Tennessee and its suburbs. So here I am at the William Bowen home, one of the oldest and first brick structures built on the Cumberland frontier. Stop by for a visit while you're here. Check out the replica of Mansker Station. Two good examples of early frontier America. Hey, this is Scott Denny with Family Tree Nuts, and I'm on my way to discover more stories about our great American history. So remember, Family Tree Nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.